Hi everybody, it's Jennifer in the Wherever Jewelry Studio. We're gonna go over some sweat soldering. So, so I have this little um, decorative piece that has some texture on it. You can see that. There you go. And um, it's been soldered closed and it fits nicely on this bezel right here. It fits nice and tight, so that's why it takes me a little bit of um, finagling to get it on. So, um, as you can see, there's really not much of a place to put solder, not much of a little shelf or anything. So what I'm gonna do is sweat solder, or I'm going to melt some solder pre-melt some solder on the back of this piece right here. Okay, so um, this was soldered together with hard solder. So I'm, and then this piece, the bezel was soldered with hard solder, and then it was soldered to the back sheet with medium solder. So what I wanna do is use easy solder to put this together so that this, um, the bezel doesn't come unsoldered. So, first thing I can do is get out my charcoal block that I like to use because it reflects the heat really nicely. I'll put this to the side and I'm gonna turn this upside down and get into my handy little um, peppermint bark pups uh, container to get out my easy solder. And I scratched ease on mine. I don't know if you can see that to make sure that I know what I'm using. You can kind of see that there. All right, so how many pieces do I need? Um, I'm gonna cut them and put them on another different block. Maybe I'll use this side because it's a little cleaner. So I've started, I'm gonna start a little fringe here with my scissors. And then turn this around and I can cut across the fringe. Now I'm putting my fingers here so that when I cut the um, solder that it the pieces don't fly away. That's a way that I like to do it. You could also get a, um, actually this is an old piece, I'm gonna get rid of that. You can also get um, a solder chip cutter, which I have one, but the pieces kind of get, it's like a hole punch and the pieces get stuck in the tool on mine. So I just resort to the scissors. All right, I'm gonna be using the acetylene torch, which is right here next to me. Turn that on, a quarter turn. This is my Smith handle that I'm gonna use. And uh, then I'm gonna get some handy flux out. Oops, it's a little wet in there. And uh, normally I like to put it in a little dish, but maybe today I won't because I don't see a little dish right here. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit um, of handy flux on my pick here. I'm going to get a pair of tweezers to hold this down. Let's get a little less flux. And then I'm just gonna um, spread that on there. Like that. I don't wanna have a tremendous amount of paste flux on there because I don't want it to really bubble around to the front which it might do a little bit anyway. Okay, all right. I'll keep that paste flux handy. 
If anybody's been in my studio, you know that I like to ball up my pieces of solder, which isn't necessarily um, mandatory right now. I'm gonna use the striker today, which has the, the flint in it. And uh, just a FYI, if you wanna use a striker, what you can do is put it down on the table so that you have something to press against. Then see, there I'm getting the spark. So I'm gonna turn my, my acetylene gas on, put this down on the table, let the gas fill up the bowl, and, and there we go. All right, so I'm gonna heat this a little bit. It's gonna bubble up get white and then kind of dry up some. Then I'm gonna use my soldering pick and just place these pieces on here. Actually, I think I might just ball them up because it's just easier for me to, to work with them like that. Okay, so the flux is sticky. So if I put a little, um, flux on my pick then these little solder balls will just stick to the pick and I'm using I'm brushing the heat so that my flux as I set them down I put the heat on them so that the flux is very loose so I can kind of scrape it off all right now I'm gonna keep my pick handy in my dominant hand and I'm just gonna heat these until that solder melts. There's that one. You can see they're kind of spreading out. All right, so that's cool. Done that. All right, now I don't have a lot of oxide but I could stick that in the pickle, probably. Probably a good idea. Just to get it clean. All right. So while that's pickling for a sec, I'm gonna um, remove these charcoal box. And I am going to solder from below on this. Um, tripod you can see there and the reason I'm doing that is because if I come from the top I'm gonna put my flame underneath here if I come from the top then my bezel wall is likely going to melt before I get the back sheet hot so that's why I'm gonna do it this way all right now, I'm going to get my piece out of the pickle and rinse it off. And there wasn't a lot of oxide on it, so, so it looks pretty, pretty clean there. All right. Now, I'm going to put some more flux on the back of this. Just, uh, just like I did before. And I'm putting it, you know, across the solder, but also, you know, all around because hopefully that solder will flow all around rather than sitting in the places where it, uh, it is sitting right now. Okay, that's nice and covered. Again, I'm not putting gobs and gobs on there. All right, I don't really want to touch this flux. So I'm going to try to keep my fingers off of it. So I'm going to well, use some long handled tweezers or long tip tweezers. Okay, so let's see if I can get that on there. Carefully. And there we 
go. Just press that all the way down. This way. Okay. All right. Make sure that this is centered in, so you can see the hole here. Make sure your piece, your screen is pretty much centered on the tripod. And then make sure that your piece is centered in here, just so the heat will be distributed evenly. And this is gonna be, the screen is gonna act as a huge heat sink. So, now I'm gonna, again, light my torch with the striker. Turn my gas on. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my heat up fairly aggressively. So I don't know, maybe we can see this. You can see that. And I'm probably gonna turn it up even more. All right. Okay, and what I have to do is look pretty closely. I might not be able to see the um, solder flow. It will look like a silvery, thin silvery line at the base of the unit I'm um, trying to solder. Now, I can also wait for this to get kind of a red color, and then I'll know it's soldered. I'm going to keep my pick here in case I need to like push it down a little bit. Turn that flame way up. And I think I see, yeah, I see the silver flowing like right here. And my piece is kind of red here, pretty red, in fact. So I am pretty sure that that is soldered on there. And that is sweat soldering. There is um, also uh, sweat soldering. If you were trying to sandwich two pieces of sheet together, you could use your pallions, spread the flux in between, put your pallions of solder, and then make a little sandwich and, and heat from below. And that also is another form of sweat soldering. So that's kind of it for today. Um, I'm glad that you could join me for this. Sorry we were a little bit late. Um, can take Sorry. Um, yeah, so here's my piece and I'm gonna quench that. I'll pick that up with my copper tongs, quench it in the water, and then put it in my pickle pot for a few minutes and then that'll clean that up so thank you for joining me and hopefully i'll see you next week here about the same time all right bye bye